Jay hit go live. No smiling. <laughs> he caught it. Okay. <laughs> I got no smile. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to close that one down. I want that one up. Let's see. Where is my Zoom again? There we go. All right. And I'm waiting for my producer to say we have people watching because I think we do. I think maybe Ward and Eva are probably on already. Aww. Yeah. Ward and Eva. yeah. No, so I, I don't see Facebook at all. So I just see you guys. I just see you. It's, yeah, I feel bad for you. It's a rough <laughs> job. Well, hi. What's your turn? I thought I heard so you don't have your volume off. Uh, sorry, technical difficulties there. Yeah. Volume. Okay. All right, Vitor's on. Hey, Vitor. I'm not surprised. Vitor is always on. So, anyway, um, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. We're um, to tell everyone to say hi. Can I start this? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, because I'm, I'm serious. So, first of all, uh, the producer wants everybody to say hi. 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 <laughs> All right, so everybody said hi. I know, I know, I know. I'm getting to it. Good gosh, she's so serious, man. Uh, no, actually, um, everybody, welcome to Greybeard Talks to. I'm Greybeard. Uh, joining me tonight is Jeremy and Becca, aka my son in law and daughter. <laughs> hi, family. <laughs> so, uh, before we get into that, first of all, happy new year, guys. Um, I'm so glad to be able to see you guys again because we haven't actually spoken. Um, you know, <laughs> yep, was you. No, actually, I mean, we saw each other um, in, in person, what, back in November, I think. Was it, was it was November? The last one? Oh, yeah. no, it was October. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, we, we did the um, Ravenwood. Yeah. 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 So we, we, we drove over. So it, it's so it's good such to a day see. In the rain. <laughs> yes. Which I appreciated, by the way. You came to visit. And ended up like holding our tent up in Deluge. So you're, you're quite a guy, Pop. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, you guys get it. See, now you know where you get it from, right? I mean, you guys get it like, you know. um, but um, no, so again, it's so good to see you guys again. So before we get too deep into our, our shenanigans and, and us having fun, um, there's a couple of things that I need to get out first. First of all, I need to thank you two for jumping in on very short notice. Um, I yeah. really, really appreciate you guys jumping in and picking that up. Patty and I were actually scheduled to talk about the fairy hunter. Um, I was going to go down to his place in Virginia. We got pelted with snow. And um, unfortunately, because of the weather, the roads, power outages and everything else, it just, it wasn't meant to be. So um, we had to, to change things up. So again, guys, thank you so much for, for picking up the slack. You know, Our pleasure. That Irish bum down there, you know, <laughs> You know, he's on cloud nine. Um, so again, thanks again for that. I appreciate that. Um, speaking of Patty, we are planning on him and I actually talking about the fairy hunter next weekend. So it'll be the, the same time. Instead of um, I, my normal seven o'clock, we are going to do the five o'clock because we'd like to be able to do it with a little bit of daylight, maybe outside. We'll be cold, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we're looking at uh, next Saturday. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll get everything done with the um, fairy hunter. Um, the next event that uh, Taryn and I have coming up, the next thing Greybeard Productions is working on is an actual commercial. Um, that is going to be on the 23rd of this month. So anybody that's interested is more than welcome to come out and participate. Um, it is at the um, Patrick Henry American Legion off Belgrove Road. Uh, bring cash, bar will be open, which will make a really, really fun commercial for us. <laughs> so, um, and then again, that, that commercial is going to be for our Viking game night that we're having at that same American Legion on the 19th of February. Did I get everything? I'm looking at you, the producer. Okay, I'm, I'm actually getting a nod. She's actually shaking her head. All right, so all of the, 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 the business stuff is now out of the way. Let's talk about you guys. So last year, I think a lot of us had a really, really, really good year. Um, you know, you guys, I know we're, we're busy. 
Um, I know we still want to come down. I still have two coyotes. Um, so that's, that's on the slate for this year. Yeah. Uh, so we need to get that, we need to get that sorted. We need to get that worked out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we can get those things tanned up and, um, have some fun with that, do some filming with that. that that's going to be hilarious. But no, last year, um, we did, uh, we did Angela's event, um, the Viking experience in North Carolina. And then you guys did a couple other things and then you came up, you did my event, um, you know, the, the one here, here in Maryland. And then you were at Ravenwood and you were just all over the place. I mean, it's, you know, mm -hmm. you guys did a lot. We hustled I mean, last year and that's, that's not even like this year, we just put our calendar cool. together um, and actually it's posted on the website. Um, but we just put our calendar, tentative calendar together. There could be additions, we'll see, but it's bigger than last year already. So we're getting getting aggressive with our uh, events. We just said, you know what, we decided something. We we were actually invited to go to a big Ren Fair, um, the, the Carolina Ren Fair. And we ran some number, we could do well financially with it, but we, um, we looked at what we did last year coming to some of these other events um, i.e. yours and stuff and the amount of fun that we had and the way that we could just hang out with people and not be just overwhelmed with the sheer size of it um that's what we want and what so we added mean? some of them but that's kind of the flavor that we really want because this is about meeting people and hanging out so um oh my god you, i mean you're you're so right and that's one of the things that um i know a lot of us in in this community and and the, the you know those of us that are really really small um, that's one of the, the, the biggest things. And that's one of the things that I think for, for Taryn and I and Great Bear Productions, we're so proud of because we've met so many wonderful people, um, you guys included. But when we do these things, the intimacy that you get and, and you, you hang out with people. I mean, the last time we were actually together, together for an entire weekend, there was a completely separate nation that was founded that now has <laughs> legit flag it has you know oh, ceremonies and you know official. the degree slopes are just uh, rhymes. <laughs> right <laughs> so, laws. It, it's craziness you know but that's all part of the fun and the magic that, that that everybody's trying to bring to um you know these events and these festivals and that kind of stuff so so I gotta I gotta tell you, John. Um, so with all of those laws and the stuff that we founded on that on that <laughs> fateful evening, uh -huh. um, you, you know, Sean Reedy, um, oh, Sean. hilarious dude, right? Yeah. He showed up at one of the last events Vikings that we did. Con. It was at Vikings Con, yeah. and uh, and saw his queen, and proceeded to turn around and stick his hind end in the air with a kilt on. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> That because that was the proper way to That's, greet his queen. Can I turn to the bread? Oh my! Oh, uh, I, I guess was there video? I mean, I, I would no. not of that. That took and us he, all by a surprise. He's Believe appointed. Me. He has self-appointed himself as 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 our scribe and has been chronicling the progression <laughs> and and stories oh, no. and tales of our nation. Oh. Oh my gosh. So I, the, the only thing I can think of is what have we done? I know. <laughs> have you, you know? seen the flags? <laughs> yes. Oh yes. Yes. Oh, good. So so we're gonna have to let people know. Um may, maybe when you guys come up in May, we'll we'll yeah. let everybody know about this nation and uh the sovereignty and and maybe we'll we'll have a joining of the clans or something. Um, <laughs> Oh, wow court. yeah maybe during court or something like that you know <laughs> i'm sure we can work something out uh, yeah yeah we're gonna have to do something because holy cow. <laughs> so um so again so let, let's talk a little bit about business i mean you guys did pretty well i mean going you hit the hit the circuit pretty good um Staying busy like you've been busy it, All we, could, out. We, we couldn't be like more grateful. like yeah grateful humbled um, you know, we've only been doing this a couple of years, right? And and um, people knew who we were. People came specifically to visit us, to buy things that to they'd seen us post, to meet, to sit around our campfire. Um, we so were, fun. this last year, we were so blown away. Um, that we love what we do. We absolutely love it. Every aspect of it like that. Um, and yeah, as far as, as far as the business side of it and the, the actual money um we were also impressed with that so um <laughs> i mean that, that's so good to hear so 
we, we've known each other for a bit of time now. Um, let's go Sorry back to because, well, yeah, uh, you know, you would think I've known you for, I don't know, your life, but, um, <laughs> but hey, not all dads do, and we'll just leave that at that. <laughs> Um, but no, let, let's talk about what you used to do. I mean, because before you got into the Viking Celtic, you know, this whole genre, you used to do something. I mean, you, you were involved with woodworking, but it was something very different. It was a very different theme. Mm -hmm. Well, like, so, I mean, I used to do woodworking when I was just a kid. I had an aunt and uncle who had a, a woodworking business and they moved overseas for a year and left all of their, their entire shop um my dad watched over it for them which gave me access so when i was a very young teenager i was going into a woodworking shop and figuring it out and um then i, I built my own shop after that and, and i've done quite a bit of it and then i took a, a hiatus for a number of years um law enforcement teaching martial arts and stuff like that and um just got back into it um, but when we got back into it, we had moved down to the ocean and we were doing like, you know, sea turtles and carvings and things like that. And, um, and that was going really well. That was fun. Until, well, until you told me, hey, do this Celtic knot. So, I like anything. <laughs> I was like, babe, I want something Irish or Celtic. I was like, this is what I want. <laughs> so we, we did that and it just, it, it was more fun to do that. We enjoyed it. The, the creative juices started flowing at that point. Well, and then it just it snowballed just there. the people we were meeting through it yeah. you guys and stuff like yeah. that like we're like this is what we want to be involved in this is what we want to do so. yeah that is i like history yeah. well yeah i mean it, it's i i think that's probably one of one of the things that we all probably connected with very very quickly was actually the history part of it because um you know i know enough history to sound intelligent <laughs> Uh, I know enough to know I don't know very much. <laughs> exactly. Very well said. And 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 I'm at the same level, but it, it's I'm always learning. I'm I'm you know always listening to podcasts and and these other things. So the history of this is is phenomenal. And um, one of the things that I'm actually like you're 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 very drawn to the the artistic and and to the woodwork and everything else. And what what Taryn and I are finding out, um, you know, through a lot of the history. I have a background in uh, the hospitality industry, and I spent 20 years before I moved on to the federal government stuff that I do now. But that passion for that hospitality, but also the foods and the cooking, like it, it, the, the history part of it is actually bringing me back to that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so there's there, there's cookbooks, there's recipes. I mean, we made some um some bread the other night oh that is, we it's it's when we get to come down to see you guys we're bringing some of it with us it's actually made with oats and shredded carrots um it's that's awesome and, and that's the thing you go okay but it's it, it's it was so good i mean we made 12 of them and i think we were out by the next morning yes i mean it, it was like even you know even the kids you know, even the uh, the fourteen year old, the 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 gorilla that he's turned into, you know, as <laughs> it, picky as he is, you know, yeah, fourteen year olds are. It's like, hey, what do you eat for dinner? Oh, I don't want pizza. I want this. I want this. You know, he's over there double fisting the rolls, and he's like throwing it in the microwave and putting butter. And I'm like, dude, man, I mean, come on, save save some for everybody else. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's crazy how everybody's being drawn in, and we're starting to find these old passions like, again. You you were on hiatus for a long time. And then you got back into it. And then I'm finding that same sort of path for me is, is I'm getting back into the cooking and into you're what you're passionate again and making that connection. Yeah. 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 So it's in, and, and again, I love entertaining anyway. And I, I, I love, you know, being around people and that kind of stuff. So the, this whole thing is starting to kind of work for me a little bit, but just a little bit, not. not <laughs> You'd be proud of her. She, she, she like that, the hospitality stuff. Um, mm -hmm. and just giving, making people feel welcome and feeding them and things like that is rubbed off on your daughter. That's what she loves doing too. And get it from my dad. You know, well, we might be vendors <laughs> you know, so when we go to these events, but we, we have a campfire and we've got, we've got Thank our you. chairs and stuff around it. And she was known as the camp mom because she was just feeding <laughs> yeah. people around the campfire. Yeah. And yeah. we've experienced that. And <laughs> it's, it's so, so true. Um, one of the things that that we were talking about earlier is, um, again, I've got these two coyotes at work. They were dropped at work. It's, you know, because we have so much, um, I work on a farm, basically. It's, it's a research inst institution. So you have to manage the wildlife that is there. Um, so they're, they're in a deep freeze right now. 
um, and I'm going to bring them down and we're going to, we're going to do this. And, and this is going to be so funny because I'm going to film it because here I am talking about, you know, being in kitchens and being in this industry and, you know, knowing my way around the knife. One of the things I've never done is butchered an animal. And I, I have no idea how I'm going to be reacting to that. And it's going to be hilarious when, when we do this filming. Um, It'll be great. So the other day, um, my, my son, well, we were, we were given a deer head. A deer head. It had skin and everything. It was, so it was just it. the head. It was just a petrified head. And, and my, my son goes out and he, he knew how to do this, you know, borax and, and, so and soap and boiling it. And, and, um, look at that. I know. Isn't that gorgeous? That yes. is. Yes. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, he just did this outside. So doing the stuff with the coyotes and the deer hides and the it's stuff, be good. it's really it, fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, and the thing that, the thing about that is I want that to be, you know, um, educational for a lot of people. And, and, and the coolest thing is even, even for me, because like I said, I I've, I've been in slaughterhouses before I, uh, with doing the, um, uh, facilities work, uh, before I joined the government and after I got out, out of the restaurant business, I, um, was doing HVAC work and, and I would have to go to a slaughterhouse and, you know, work on ammonia systems and you see these animals being butchered and, and, you know, you're kind of like, okay, cool. I've been around that. I've seen that. It's not going to phase me. It's not going to phase me until you actually put the knife in your hand and you have to actually cut through Fido's. And it's going to be a very different experience, you know, and all of a sudden you, you do have the brain and that's going to be used for the oils and the tanning process. And it's kind of like, and we'll use all the different parts for something. So it doesn't absolutely. go waste yeah. and stuff. So. absolutely so again that's coming up this year and like i said we really really need to get that locked down yeah. i'm uh, very excited yeah i yeah. can't wait for the bones yeah i know taryn taryn keeps talking about the bones she wants the bones. She's like claim to the bones that's fair <laughs> yep yep she's got some plans she's got some ideas and stuff like that for the bones already so mm -hmm. um so anyway so yeah last year was was such a great year and even though we were, we're suffering through this pandemic um i really really think that a lot of folks such as yourselves um, I'd like to lump myself into that category as well, is, is we're trying to make the most of it. And for us to be able to come out and, and put these things on, I think is phenomenal. And that leads me into what do you guys have going on this year? I mean, you kind of set a bar for yourself, right? I mean, I'm sure you have your goals and I'm sure well, yeah. looking at everything that you do and knowing you guys, I know you overachieved on those goals. So, you know, well, what's... We, yeah, like you said, we started our business in, in, in the pandemic, like we had just bought our trailer, we had lined up all of our events and then everything shut down. So last year was really the first year we got to go out, go to events. And so this year we're, we're taking advantage of having events and so we're gonna hit as many as we think we can while we work on some other things too. We sent out, we, we send out a newsletter maybe quarterly if we're lucky. <laughs> um, but we had put a list of the events that we were doing. We just, we updated our website um, and there's seven events so, hang uh, on, so wait, far. Before you, before you get into the events, um, yeah. throw the website out so people know where to go to and, and find it, it and everything else like that. Clanrunda.com. Simple, easy. Yeah. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, people can buy stuff on it. People can see where we're going, um, get in touch with us, things like that. But but yeah, so far, seven, seven events that we're going to be doing. Starting um, in March and all the way through November right now, we've got We've got events all the way through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there's a few things, you know, we're, as far as what we're doing, there's there's some things on the burner um, for our own place. And I know a lot of people have been talking about that because we've actually had people come to us speaking, uh, you know, talking about investing even and stuff. Um, oh. But we've got some some plans um, for, for kind of our own place and making it uh, an educational place and, and a public place where we can do some really, really cool stuff. So we we're really working on that. It, um, we really want it to be a, a hands-on place where people can come and get inspired mm -hmm. and share in their passion of the history. That's how we connected and stuff. So mm -hmm. I loved as a kid going to, to museums and farms and all that stuff. And it was so fun to go see everything. But I was, even as a kid, I was frustrated that I couldn't touch anything. Yeah. I want people to yeah. be able to get their hands in there, touch that wall, get your hands dirty, like try it and then take something home that you made like that. Everything from what you're talking about with the furs and, and to, to basket weaving, to gardening, to uh, butchering, yeah. cooking, cheese making, everything, um, give people skills. 
um, sure. and to have a blast and have it and do it in a really cool environment, you know, like the environment that like we would like to build, obviously. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and that's, that's something that I, I think this, I don't want to say this area, um, you know, I think the United States in, as, as a whole, there are very, very, very few places um, where you can get that type of hands-on education, where it is a lot of fun. I mean, uh, places like, 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 you know, again, we, we've had these conversations and we all have that same dream of having, you know, this wonderful place and you have the farm animals. And, you know, all of this goes back to a lot of things we did when we were kids. And, you know, we went to, you know, our school was like, hey, we're taking a field trip over here and you go to, you know, a petting zoo or something. Um, but a lot of that, you know, is really, really great educational for kids. But when you look at the Viking era and you look at that, that time frame, there's not a whole lot of things around here. Now for, for us Americans and, and for the US, sure, you got Williamsburg and you have you know Native American culture, you made Native American history. You have a lot of these things that are very, you know, um, culturally, you know, particular to, to us. Right. But when it when it comes to you know what the Viking civilization brought and what they did. I mean, a lot of our language is based on their language. And, and a lot of people don't realize this. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so in order to, to, to have a place for, for you know, a group of kids to come to, um, it's just, man, that that's like, yeah. you know, that's that's the dream, right? That's, that, that's what it is right there. You know, so hopefully um, we can get all that stuff going and we can do it. I know they have um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen it. I think over in Sweden and Norway and those places, they have a couple of those. Yeah. And um, I know some of the future plans that um, uh, Grey Bear Productions has in a, in a year or two um, is to, to head over there and, and check it out and see it, you know, see it firsthand. Um, you know, because again, it's like you said, you know, it's, it's, there's something about getting your hands dirty. There is, and there's something about learning that way. You, you just remember it different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, but that's the thing. It, it's it, it, you're creating that memory. It's not just, you know, museums for a lot of people can be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe not for me. Um, but but again, for me, it, it's yeah, let me get my hands. Let me get my hands dirty. Um, some of the greatest memories that my kids have is when I took them to Williamsburg and we were making bricks. Right. Yeah. You know, you're, you're literally you're you're standing in mud. You're using your feet to make that mud and yeah. you know to make that brick and everything. So to, to create a place like that is just, all my fondest yeah. memories growing up were outside in the dirt with some animal. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's right. Um. So Taryn is smacking her forehead. So oh, Stephen just says Norwegia. Uh, uh, <laughs> all hail Norwegia. Um, yeah, so Steven is on my list, um, you know, Vlad, Vlad's, you know, um, I've reached out to him already, but we got to come up with a, um, a, a date where we can. Yeah. No, he just changed, he changed his, uh, his yeah. business name. Yes. Um, he's expanding and, and, uh, he, he, vended, he, with us he vended with us. Yeah. And, and fun. he's, man, he is good at his stuff. The silver and the furs and the shit. I mean, knows his stuff. Man. He's one of those guys where he's, he's like you. To me, he's like you. You guys are so damn good that it's nauseating and it's effing disgusting. I just want to puke every time I see it because I'm like, are you kidding me? Look at what they're doing now. And then I'm just kind of like, oh. I made a tent, you know, isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you show then, a picture of the tent that he made? Um... You know what? Let me, um, I'm going to share my screen because I've got a bunch of your pictures up anyway. So let's go to Facebook. Facebook. Oh, look at that. I can do that. All right, cool. So let's um, close the notification. Yeah. Uh, notification. That shield right there. Which one? This one? The, the that one stag actually. I'm working on making another. Is in the process right here, right now. That's actually. Oh, wow. oh, that's cool. That is so cool. So we'll go ahead and, and scroll through. So again, this the, this leather, um, you guys do all of this, all this yep. by hand. Oh, uh, yeah. And the detail work is just phenomenal. Um, so again, you know, I'm not, I don't consider myself to be an artist, but you guys are true artists. And that's why I say, you know, and I mean it in the most polite um, possible way that, that I can, but yeah, it's disgustingly good, <laughs> you know? I mean, come on, guys. 
give, 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 give us a break. You know, not all of us are this talented. Um, so again, so I love this. I, I love these boxes. Um, so can you talk about this? I mean, I'm like like you... can. <laughs> no. Uh, so the, the top art is, is representative of Jorgamandir. Um, and then it's a, it's, it's a rendition of an art that we created that actually wraps around our tankards too. And then, so, mm -hmm. um, and then there's, it's got the bed for on the front and it just has the leather hinges. It's just a nice small little carrying size. That one is. Um, That's cool. Okay. So this is, so th these are, these are uh, leather hinges. So those no, are flaps. Those are straps. There. Actually, I've got one of those um, right up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. On that the, is just locks. On the back side, it's got leather hinges. Oh, I see. So. Very cool. But it's a good, like, if you can see it scale by yeah. people, sometimes it's hard to get in, in wow. photographs. And that's actually a comment we get a lot is, um, you know, your photographs are really good. But when I see the stuff in person, um, you know, it, it's that much better. So sometimes it's good to get that scale. This is a really nice size here, just a real general mm -hmm. size. Yeah. So these are jewelry or accessories or whatever. Silver. Silver, yes. Silver. Glad think so. Um now your bosses, you you pick those up off of um um online, right? You now we actually yeah. so we met somebody. If anybody's heard of the TV show Forged in Fire, we we met this guy that was on there. We started following him because he was on that and we liked what he did and, and ended up meeting this guy. And a little while back, he just, he messaged us. He's like, Hey guys, I just did a review on this forge. I don't need one. I've got a couple others. So I'm going to drop it off for you. Um, and so he just <laughs> dropped off the forge. And uh, so our goal is to do more and more of the metal work ourselves yeah. as well. Like bosses, hinges, things like that. Actually, That's really cool. That's really, really cool that you guys can, can get into that. Yeah, oh, so all right. So, oh, tinkered. So I know Bonnie wants to pick up one of your tinkered soon. Oh, cool. Oh, there, we couldn't so believe that that one was like done as a challenge. Um, there's this Jorgen near one um, that we did, but um, just to see if we, if we could make them, and we have shipped these things all over the world. It's 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 incredible. <laughs> um, and honestly, they're the the price margin on these is not great for the amount of work. But they're, but they're so, so impressive and they're so cool. And we love to show them off that we just keep making them for people. So um, a lot of work goes into the tankers. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about your tents? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, we're just just got an order for another one. Um, our tents are made custom um, for an individual. If you see somebody camping in one of our tents like this one here, um, Gamble's tent, um, everything on it has special meaning to him. It was designed for him. It's what he wanted. Um, and, and I mean, we can build just about anything, but they, they come complete. They come with the, the uprights, all of the, all of the wood, all of the ropes, all of the canvas. We even throw in a, um, a, a tote to keep it all together. So. So the one thing I, I, I wanted to ask is Sarah goes back to it. All right. So Watch. you, you have the, the top. Here, you, I keep on it. You know where you want it to look. Um, so how do you do that? I mean, this, how does this hook on? Do you, so you paste that, the hook on? That is fastened on. It, there's a, basically it's a tongue and groove, but then there's also, we also put screws in it just in case of weather and stuff like that. If mm -hmm. somebody's got a vehicle big enough or they can put it on top of their vehicle, leave it on. Um, but it, it was made so that it can fit into a, be a little bit easier to transport. Um, <laughs> It's better just to leave it on. It's better just to leave it on. You might as well, but sure. Um, but again, for a lot of folks that are just getting into it, they absolutely love the tent. I mean, if it's something that they can kind of pull off where they're like, I would be afraid of of breaking it um, okay. because I'm kind of rough with things. <laughs> so, so what the uh, Angela's last event? Oh yeah. Um, you know, a, a hurricane came through, <laughs> and we had two of these tents set up that got lifted four or five feet off the ground and moved ten to twelve feet sideways and set back down. Wait. I thought I thought it was going to be kindling, but no um, damage. But they were they were fine. The wow. the weakest points of the A-frame tent are right there in that picture are, are yep. the uh, are those pegs. 
Um, but they seem to hold up. Ours are not inserted. Ours are actually carved right into oh. the main board. Um, I'm glad you said that because I tell people all the time, even even with you know my stuff, which doesn't compare to yours, but I do the pegs the same way because I believe that that wood is much sturdier. Yeah, because that way you've got the grain. It, it's the grain is continuous all through it. It's a it's single piece of wood. Um, there's ways to reinforce it and stuff, but man, you're always going to have stress right in right in that uh, area where it joins up, and and that's where most people that I've talked to, I've, I've talked to goodness, multiple, multiple people have said, I just, I keep breaking my tent and that's why that's, that's the spot. Right. 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 Um, so the artwork is, is absolutely just mind blowingly gorgeous. Um, you know, what I did want to ask and, and, um, if it's a trade secret, it's a trade secret, but looking at how you do a lot of your paint and stuff, the, the, um, this negative space, that this that this negative color. How are you doing that? How are you getting that? You know, really this, this it's going to be disappointing. You're so going to go we, like, oh, that's what we you should mean? make something really. <laughs> that's, that's my whole life right there, though. That that comment is my entire life. That's everything I do. I just look at it and somebody explains it. I'm like, oh my god, really? So, so sure, bring it on. You know, it is what it is. Right. No, we need to. We seriously need to like put our heads together and think of something really like super impressive that nobody could ever duplicate and, and lie. But we won't. Right. Um, honestly, black paint. And then sand it off. And then and then sand it back into that area. You sand it right back off. Okay. <laughs> there you go. No, I mean it. it it's great because yeah. again, for a lot of so when I was doing the leather stuff, there were certain techniques and different dyes oh, yeah. and stuff like. Um, but we you would have to with the leather stuff you for for certain things you have to apply a coat first and then you can put something over top and then you know you can put something different over top and, and those sorts of things and that's why i was kind of asking the question because you have you know so many different color variations so again right here you have greens whites reds um you know and then you have your stain and then your lacquer over top of it so you know it's always a curiosity for a lot of folks like, wow how did they get those colors in there like that without and then there's there's people like you that understand that there could be a lot of layers and some of that process and appreciate it. And there's there's some people who just and it's nothing against them. They've they've never done anything like that. They have right. no idea what goes into creating something like that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So again, um, speaking of hours, if you were going to go ahead and, and make a tent, um, so for for one of our, our guests watching, and we were talking about him earlier. You know the the twelve stitches. Um, <laughs> yes. You know he's he's actually um, asking. You know he wants a tent. He he absolutely loves your loves your stuff. So I'll have to get you guys into contact so you all can work that. He's already out. signed up for a newsletter and everything. He signed up for your newsletter already, so um, <laughs> which is great. But I, again, if you were going to go ahead and build Ron a, a tent mm -hmm. from scratch, what kind of time are we looking at? You know, from start to finish, how many? Um, hours? It really depends. The way we work on things, because there are those stages, it's, sometimes it's really hard to clock that. Um, so it's probably easier for me to, rather than the amount of time that goes into it, tell you what uh, kind of a time frame you'd be looking at from commission to completion. Um, and that more than likely is a couple months. Mm -hmm. um, it just and, that, and that's it's getting other it. things out at the same time. That's working at it in stages. Well, it's just how it works out. Part of it depends on how complex the art is. Is yeah. it a simple art or is it a more detailed one? That he, every art piece he does, he spends hours on just the paper artwork before we even start putting it on wood. So it all depends on some of that stuff. It's hard to put a number on. Different ones are easier and more complex ones are harder. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Right, so it, it's really, really dependent. Um, let's see here. The producer is, is pointing. Well, her... just show some other stuff or another picture of a tent. Hey, actually, if you go up again, um, a couple more, um, one more frame. Oh, where did it go? Oh, yeah. Oh, happy anniversary. Um, yeah, oh, happy yeah. anniversary, guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We'll take you to those waterfalls. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, there was a picture of an axe holder. Oh, that down. was actually some of our blacksmith work. Find yeah. the axe. You're wrong direction. I'm going the wrong direction. Find the axe holder. Looking for the axe. Right okay. there. That, see, and that's that Jorgamandir art again. You got to go down just half a half a frame. 
That is the axle. Oh, the frame, I'm sorry. That's the axle right there. So that's the same Jorgen and Deer art that I did. Um, but then we forged the uprights in our new nice. board. So it has begun. The metalworking has begun. That is fantastic. Oh my God. So I, I, again, I, I'm, I'm so jealous because you guys got this, this wonderful property out in the, the hills of the Carolinas and, and you have space to do this. And I'm in this, you know, starting can of a neighborhood where, you know, one dog barks, every dog barks. Yes. So, so I can't, I can't throw a forge in the backyard because if I start tinking <laughs> down on something, you know, the neighbor's well, going to go insane. Becca, you'd so. be in heaven. Rob, of course, wants courses on his tent. Yes, he does. I literally just said that a second I ago. To, I hope it's horses. I have to cover her mouth now or she's going to say it's free. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's my favorite. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Taryn, Taryn loves the Ravens and, yeah. and that kind of stuff. So. so go to some other product now. I mean, we've seen a lot of okay. tents. Yes, producer. We're, we're getting there. See, this is why I wanted to give her the, the mouse and she threw it back at me. Um, all right, so here's... If the mouse wants to work. Oh, there it goes. On now. Yep. All oh, right, so and here's, bows and arrows. Here's here's one of the uh, trunks that you guys made. Now oh, those are big. Like the one behind mm -hmm. Becca is not even as big as the one that's pictured there. That thing is is a massive trunk. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you can sit on it and stuff. In fact, right. that's kind of the design is what they thought is is basically you would put those things put your gear in a trunk like that, set it in the boat and there's your chair, that's everything, you know. Efficient. Yeah, I'm, I mean, that, that's why, um, you know, they have the, uh, the ore tents and um, yes. um, a good friend of ours, um, Adrian with the Longship Company, when, when he goes out and he takes his kit, he, he's always in an ore tent. And I'm always amazed that, you know, he's able to set this thing up and it's so, so sturdy. It's yeah. simple, but man, he, he, yep. he lives in that thing for, you know, as long as he needs to, um, which is phenomenal. But so let's talk about these chairs a little bit, because I love your chairs. Um, I love what you've done with them. And I think um, it really needs to be talked about a little bit, because this is a little bit different design than some of the other bulb chairs, because the regular bulb chairs that a lot of people sit in just have that one piece because it just comes straight out. Um, so again, I know the story behind this, but um, you know, a friend of ours came to you um, and and asked for something specific. And and again, I'll I'll let you go kind of go from there with what you did. Well, we we love making things specifically for people, and so yes, this 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 friend came and and just asked for something that would be um, a little more stable. Um, she had some stability issues. She was concerned about with the traditional one. And I asked, hey, could I, could I make something that's a little more stable? And that's, this is what we came up with. It has three legs instead of just the one. Um, they actually, yeah, the seat, so the seat's wider, but what's interesting is a lot of times um, the traditional, you know, bog chair, you know, is cut down for that rear part. So it's very narrow, but whereas this is brought out, giving it that width. Mm -hmm. um, so comfy. It, they're really comfortable and they've been very, very popular. I kind of, we probably should be paying her a commission on uh, <laughs> design because it's been great. You know, so I, um, speaking of her, I, I, I spoke to her the other night and um, things are, things are pretty good. And, um, you know, she's hit, um, it, it, it was a rough year. She lost her mom and, and some other friends. So it was so good to be able to talk to her uh, the other night and hear her voice again. And, um, you know, uh, to, to just be a part of her life. It has been fantastic. So for you guys, she's just she's doing really, really well. And, um, yeah. You know, we're actually going to be seeing her in a couple of weeks. So, because we haven't, I haven't seen her in a while. So, um, really excited to uh, to see her again. So, um, but but yeah, no. So going back to the chairs, like you said, the old ball chairs, you could be stone cold sober and go to sit in that chair. You're rolling over, and yeah. we've seen it time again. <laughs> I, I've I've seen drinks. I've seen horns. I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff go flying in the air because somebody rolled over in a chair. So, I think what you guys did here um you know is it, utterly fantastic because you know this new modern snowflake of an age that we live in we need something like this because <laughs> heaven help us if we you know injure our elbow. Yeah, exactly anyway 
Then, and this, this, that style actually we've added <clears throat> the option for a leather cushion seat. Mm -hmm. That's yes. pretty, <laughs> pretty popular. Yeah. Better. We got leather cushion seats. I love uh -huh. it. Oh my god! Of, of our modern snowflake society, you know. Yes. yes. So all you millennials out there, not calling any names, um, but yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> we got leather seating. Um, all right. So this is one of your thrones. Such a beautiful family. So there's a movie star in this picture. There is. There is. There is. Yeah, you, he won't stand that close to me anymore. He's got paparazzi and stuff. So. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. But hey, I've got to, I've got to tell you, um, the clan has grown this year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so at the next events that people have have come and visited, there's been three of us there. Um, we've we've grown by three more, so we've doubled. Um, so we've got um, my son and my daughter. Um, will be traveling with us now and they're helping out and that's really exciting and then we've also we will be bringing this guy Dorsey Pierce. Oh, this guy will be coming to events <laughs> um, his name is Dorsey um, but yeah everybody can meet him at events and stuff too he's actually a 81 certified medical assistance dog and uh, he loves people, so he'll be he'll be meeting people at events. That is, mm -hmm. that is so great. He'll, he'll probably have his own A-frame doghouse. So, right? I can, <laughs> oh, yes. you, you know, you talked about that before. I really can't wait to to, to see that. Um, that is going to be fantastic. And as far as the other two kids, um, there's a leather seat. All I hear you saying is you got extra help in the shop, and you're going to be able to go play. <laughs> um, that, that is is what I'm taking yeah. away from this. Yeah. So I, I see Jared as being a manager and he's going to be the boss of the other two. And then you guys can be, you know, running around fair somewhere, enjoying yourselves. Yeah. Um, so, so what is your uh, top seller? Well, that's a hard question because we sell a lot of everything. Oh, wait, why don't you tell us the story about these? <clears throat> <laughs> Again, it was, it was one of the, I mean, everything that she wants me to build ends up. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, they, those were fun to see. Cause we did, we want, she wanted a bench real bad. And so we, we designed these and um, kind of, kind of with the flair of the bog chairs, right. To kind of keep that same simplicity going. And we set up a few around the campfire. And just I tell you what, like it, people just, we, we need like probably 50 of them around a campfire because people will fill them when they're sitting oh, there. It's a moth to the clans. So um, they're super comfy. They're really comfortable. They're sturdy. <laughs> we had yeah. a couple of guys, they're like, let's see how much weight we can get on there. And I'm like, that's our bench you're <laughs> sitting on. And they just piled it on and it, didn't even care yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome um now i will say this the the last time that we were together in person they did really well in the rain they did <laughs> yep so um they they did phenomenally well Well, actually and and that's like our chairs because of how we finish them i actually think that they get prettier as they age that yep. grain just gets richer and looks especially mm -hmm. if you maintain it yeah. So. yeah yeah so speaking of maintaining um how would somebody maintain this? So you, you went ahead and made this and you send it out to them. What would be your advice for them to maintain it? What are they going to use? Real simple. Yeah, we, we ship it um, treated with Thompson's water seal. Okay. Um, and uh, we're not sponsored by them or anything yet. No kickbacks, but, um, <laughs> but we found that that one really, really works good for, for this. And so, and we also send, um, if you, if you order one, we'll send a little uh, maintenance thing, but really all we do is we recommend that maybe once a year really? you retreat it with that and that's you can get it in a spray can or you can just brush it on it's just clear let it let it soak in and it's done um but we've got chairs that have been through literally hurricanes and they're just getting prettier and prettier actually that's really cool that's really cool so and then there's another one of your leathers See, I, I love I love the bright colors and the um, design that you guys do. That's something that that we get a lot of comments. It's kind of like our I don't know trademark or something, but it's our look. Is is people go? We love the bold colors. We want mm -hmm. to make it look aged and old and historical. But they they loved color back then, so we yep. want to bring yeah. that to our our items still. So. 
So the the lantern, is this something you guys, people can order this as well? They can go ahead and pick one of these up from you guys? The, the yeah. little pole make, so you can light your candle. It brings the base up with the candle. You light it and then drop it back down in there. So. Here, can you show that again? Yeah. You. Um, this is your goat rawhide. So it's nice and tight. And then you pull the dowel up and then it brings your candle up. That's one of my favorites. That's what yeah. I want. <laughs> so um, we're, we're actually we're actually starting to run out of a little bit of time here. So before we, yeah, I know we, we, we got a few minutes, but what I want to do is um, have the producer go through and, and see if there's any questions because I know we've been talking the whole entire time. Um, but I'd, I'd love to know if anybody has any questions for you guys. Um, while, while she's getting that together, just one more time, um, clanrunda.com, um, everything's right there on your website, easy to get to. Yep. And social media is all the same. It's just Clan Runda. So you, you do, you know, on Facebook, you put the slash and just type Clan Runda. Clan with a K. Yeah. So Polish spelling. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Um, Waller, oh yeah, and Talon shared the um, Facebook, I mean, the oh, website. Thanks. While they're, while they're doing that, of course, um, your handler says hi. <laughs> okay. Hey, Matt. <laughs> Eva and Ward say hi to you guys and to hey, everybody. Guys. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yep. And of course, uh, Patty says happy anniversary. Aww. Thank you, Patty. So. Remember, it's double D. Patty with a double D. Patty with two Ds. Vitor yeah. mm -hmm. wants to know if you can adopt him. Of course. Vitor <laughs> has been asking that of a lot of people lately. So. He so wants to come over here. Yeah, we, we got to figure out how to get him over here. Um, he's, he's been one of our most loyal, biggest followers. And, you know, he's always on top of it. it it's, it's crazy. As soon as I hit that live button. He, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Talon says congrats on the ad to the family. Oh, thanks, Talon. Thanks, Talon. Can't wait to see you. Talent, I got a tattle on talent. Can I tattle oh, on wow. talent? Tattle on talent. Um, yeah, yeah, you, yes, you, please you, do. You have to now. I, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta tell us what's going on. We appreciate talent so much. He's um, so awesome. He was sitting around our campfire, and when we were talking about dogs, he understands dogs yeah. to a great deal, and and he he was listening to stories about Dorsey and how how Dorsey and I were introduced and how we worked together and things like that. And when Dorsey came home, um, talent. And, and we call him Uncle Talon. Um, <laughs> sent sent this hands free leash is what it is, and it's and so it, cool. it's so cool. And and he did that as a welcome home gift for for our dog here. And Aww. he didn't have to do that. I, I just tell like, you, if you that's a heart, right? So that <laughs> is fire, and you have time around it. You have a good campfire. Yes, you do. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm so that glad is, to hear that. That is. So all right. Um, Okay, Taryn, you're you're pointing at a notebook and tapping it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> the, it's a big list of names. <laughs> it's the list of vendors. How did oh. you not see that really? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, look, she 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 just goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, great. You tapped the notebook. I don't know what this is. You didn't tell me. It, yes, I, did. I told you like three times already. Okay. That day. All right. So you come around here. Oh, yeah. Do you want the phone with all the with all the people? And you can look at some. Oh, I can. So I can look at that. Yeah, you can look at that. Don't scroll. Because oh. if you scroll on my, I can phone, look you at it, but lose... I can't scroll. No, because if you touch my phone, you might lose all the comments and stuff. Watch, I lost all the comments. Well, here's your phone then. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Terry. Hey. There she is. <laughs> No, I just wanted to um, give a list out of the vendors we have so far signed up with us for May. Um, this actually is in no order. Um, so I just wrote them down, at, well, actually in the order that you guys signed up for. So before you go through the list, yes. um, I just want to say, um, everybody that signed up already, thank you so much. It's, it's such an honor that you've already signed up. Um, last year, when we started out, um, we had a lot of help from you guys because um, it was our first time doing it. Um, I think we had probably 20 some vendors, yeah. um, for, for all of last year, um, this year already, we're at, uh, we're at 27 vendors. And out of that 27, we have nine brand new vendors, um, that have reached out to, uh, to join us. So we're really, really excited, 
Um, and again, we just opened up, you know, in, in December, um, you know, which is phenomenal to, to think about. Here it is a, a month later and we're already at 27. Um, so we're still taking applications yep. um, and we will continue to do so for the next few months. We have plenty of space at the uh, on the grounds. Oh, yeah. Um, so if we can fill it up. We, we certainly will. Yep. Um, and uh, there's some on here that I'm so sorry. And I know one of them was on the live earlier. I don't know if you're still on. So if I say your company's name wrong, I'm so sorry. So, um, of course, we have art by Samuel McCormick. Unclaimed yeah. Treasures, Raven's Conjure, Ulfurk and Ladenbogen. Um, a new one this year is Old Shed Leather Gill. This is one that you guys met at Vikings Con, uh, Skull Bog Artisans. Okay, yeah. Yep, they were there um, at Vikings Con. Um, we have uh, another new one, Wild Heart Anomalies. We know them from Fair, that's Erica. Mm -hmm. Uh, another one, the gallows. That's actually going to be a game. Oh, yeah. Cool. So it's I'm going to talk about that game. real quick. This is this is a friend of ours that we've we've known. Yes. Um, we've met. It's going to be there. hilarious. Um, Richard is a fantastic human being. He's an awesome yes, guy, and and he created this the this drinking game. And you guys are going to flip when you see it. Oh yeah. We have some video. Yeah. Um, of him testing it and playing around with it. Um, <laughs> it's it's going to be hilarious. And and he's coming. He's bringing the whole thing with him. Oh, he um, just posted videos of the gallo bells that you have to wear when you play it. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it's it's going to be it's it's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah. Uh, Midnight Orchid Design, Red Falcon, another new one. You guys should know out well, if you guys walked around Ravenswood. I'm sure you would. One eyed uh, one eyed Raven. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. his candles. Jocelyn, I give her a candle for her oh, birthday, cool. and she's like, oh, "Look at this candle!" Yeah, I was like, "Oh, wait to see him when he comes to the festival." I um, think I think I remember you purchasing some of his candles. I remember. So, yeah. Yes, yeah. I was carrying them yeah. around. You yeah. got yeah. You guys kept some of them. Uh, no, I gave them to someone else to put in their tent to keep dry for me for oh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little. Uh, bit. Clan Runda, of course. August Happens, Twins Arms, Unique Jewelry Creations. Uh, I don't have them marked as new. But I think they're new. They are new. Yeah. Oopsies. So I think we have 10 new, actually. The so Southern that. Beekeepers again, Miriam's Yay. Yarn and Fibers. Yep. The Merchant Handy thing of Many Things. They went under a different name last year, but they were the ones that sold all the uh, LARP weapons and stuff at the mm -hmm. top. Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. to Danny. Yeah. Next yeah. to Danny. Horny things, yeah. Horny things. Horny things. Son of Vikings, yeah. Horny things. So, horny things. You guys remember I was showing you this? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. With the clear bottom. So what? What? When we get the coyote stuff done, I'm thinking we give them a coyote bone. We give them something. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, make you a new cup yep, with the coyote a new cup bone in with it. With the coyotes stuff yep. in it. That'd be they're, so They're cool. super people. They're, they're so nice. We were Love pretty that. close to them at Ravenwood and yeah. had, had a good yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Love those guys. Uh, Son of Vikings, uh, Rigor Crafts, along with Yerk. 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 You mean Jerk? <laughs> no, Yerk. Jerk. Yerk. It's Jerk. <laughs> it's Viking Jerk. J E R K. <laughs> mm. I love you, Shane. I know. It's Viking Yerk. Uh, fight Night. Fight tonight, knives and leather. They're new. Yes. Wait till you see his stuff. Oh, oh God. wait, she, I can get it. I can get it. She can get it. <laughs> he's actually going to be um, um, doing some stuff. So he's going to have his forge and stuff there. So you're probably going to be like migrating. I'm going to, I know I'm going to look around and, you know, you'll be. Oh. That's and it's pretty. very sharp. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's neat. Very sharp, and he might be bringing a special thing for us. He does, use. but we're not going to say what it is. Yeah, I just said he might be bringing. I have your daughter. I get to know. <laughs> well, we can tell you off screen. <laughs> 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 the left hand, right hand, woodwork and art. Obviously, they're new. <laughs> the uh, vegetarian Viking. They're new as well. Uh, they make. They're really cool. Um. Angela had it at her event. It was they, don't they made you it? modeled it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yes, you modeled it. Hi, Faith. Yes. I'm married to a model. Right. Right. Yeah, of course, Vlad's Tavery. I love his new name, by the way. Yes. yes. 
Um, one, one second. Yes, Patty. And of course, there will be Patty's bar. Yeah. Of course. We all know that. And the last one I have, I know I'm going to butcher this one too. La Warian's Nest. That sounds familiar. I can't read your writing. So I, I, don't I know. Have... You know, they might have been at Ravenswood. Um, they I feel like, like, I feel like yeah, they were. But I, I think they were remember. over at the corner, right at the bottom, at the row. Kind of like when you went straight from you. Um, the, Eva? Yeah. No. Yeah, I think they were there. I think that's where they were set up with because they had little like puzzle boxes and little croquette crowns and stuff. I think they were there. Um, Eva, what? Eva, you can wait till next weekend. Okay. Next weekend. We're not doing that now. Oh, oh. <laughs> but that's all the um vendors that we have so far. Um actually, Rowan, you are signed up. I said to you earlier. Yeah. You were number like you guys were like number two, I think. Four. Number two or three, but number four. Yeah, you're you're signed up, bro. <laughs> you were <laughs> number okay. four. I know you haven't been feeling well, you know, go big or go home type <laughs> stuff that you do. I so go that's probably go why you forgot. All right, I'm gonna get out and you can finish your video. Okay. Time. All right. Anyway. <laughs> that's exciting. That's a lot. I know, isn't it? It is. It is. Um we like like I said, it it's super, super exciting, but we're also incredibly humbled because um, it's, it, I didn't expect it. Didn't it, I say the potting know. place? Oh my gosh. You didn't didn't say, I? I thought you said the potting place. Didn't I? Because I know they're signed up. Yes, I did. Right after One-Eyed Ravens. Yep. And right before Clan Runda. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Wait, Sarah. Why, Peter, why Peter. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as you can tell, um, we're going to have a lot, a lot of uh, logistical work to do when it comes time to lay out um, and everything else um, like that goes. So um, I do want to say we learned an, an awful lot. And I know I have spoke to you guys and, and um, spent a lot of time actually talking about what we could have done to improve, what we could have done better. Um, and, and I got a lot of great advice from a lot of people. So this, this coming year for us, there's, there's going to be some drastic changes. Um, I have some pretty, pretty big announcements coming up in the next few weeks, um, which you guys are, are privy to, but not everybody else. Um, it's nice, it's nice being married to the, to the king's daughter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, it helps. Um, so in, in fact, uh, we've got a, uh, we've got a meeting tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock with, uh, yeah. with somebody. Um, yeah. So we'll have to let everybody know how that one goes. Um, which will be really exciting because if I can, if I can bring them, yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be cool. It'll be really cool. Um, so, so yeah, um, we're basically kind of wrapped up. We're kind of done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, again, happy new year. It was fantastic. Hey, you. And everybody else who is, who's, uh, said hi and is in the chat and stuff like that. Happy new year to everybody out there too. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, we got quite a bit of people, so I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight and, and hanging out for, you know, it seems like 10 minutes, but it's already been an hour, you know, yeah. which I, I love when I do that. I, I love when we do this because it, it, it's, again, all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's, we're at an hour. I'm like, really? We just started. Um, so, so anyway, um, you guys hang on and um, everybody else in Facebook land, I am going to kill the feed and uh, we will see you guys next weekend. Um, we're going to talk about the fairy hunter next weekend. So make sure Jared is watching um, <laughs> because we're going to be talking about him and uh, some of the behind the scenes things, you know, proper young man he is. Which uh, Clan Runda will be selling his autograph um, that will be available <laughs> on the website shortly. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, everybody in Facebook land, love you guys. We will see you all next weekend. Bye. <laughs> Now, if I can do this right. <laughs>